Hello viewers, the country that I am going to discuss today in this video is Finland and Helsinki is its capital city. This country as uh, the previous countries as I have discussed in the last video is also located in the continent of Europe. So this is the flag of the country. It is uh, of two colors. So the dominant color is white and uh, on it it's a blue color that looks like a kind of sleeve let's discuss its independence finland declared its independence from russia on december 6th 1917 marking a significant milestone in its history this declaration came after years of political and social movements seeking autonomy Finland's independence brought about the establishment of a sovereign state allowing the Finnish people to shape their own destiny and build a nation based on their unique identity. The national game. The national sport of Finland is Pesapalo. Pesapalo is a bat and ball game that originated in Finland in the 1920s. This is just like baseball, but with some differences. Uh, the way this game is played is quite different from that of baseball. Well, baseball is uh, played in the USA and it's the national game of the United States of America. <coughs> if we talk about the history of Finland, Finland's history dates back to the Stone Age with evidence of human habitation as early as 8500 BCE. Over the centuries, Finland experienced periods of Swedish and Russian rule till 1917. I tell you this was the age when the people of Finland did not have their own established identity, uh, but they were ruled by either the Russian forces, the rulers, and our Swedish people. The country's rich cultural heritage, including the epic poem Kalavala and its resilience during conflicts like the Winter War, have shaped modern Finland. If we talk about import and exports of Finland, number one in, in the category of imports, there are fuels and oils, vehicles and automotive parts, pharmaceuticals, electrical machinery and equipment, plastics and plastic products, chemicals and chemical products, iron and steel, textiles and textile articles, optical, photographic, etc. And here, exports. Electrical machinery and equipment, wood and wood products, paper and paper board, metals and metal products, telecommunication equipment, passenger cars and forestry products. Uh, the political system of Finland. Finland operates as a paramilitary uh, parliamentary republic with a multi-party system. The country upholds democratic principles ensuring free and fair elections, separation of powers, and protection of civil liberties. The President of Finland serves as the head of the state while the Prime Minister leads the government. The Finnish people, the Finnish people political system is known for its stability, transparency, and high levels of citizen participation so we can say the political system of Finland is based on demo democracy and parliamentary wars like other European countries Finland has also been a part of many wars we can say that Finnish territory remained a part of numerous wars some of these wars are <clears throat> Number one, Finnish war that started in 1808 and ended in 1809. This war was fought between the Kingdom of Sweden and the Russian Empire. 
Finland was a part of the Kingdom of Sweden at that time. The conflict resulted in Finland being the ceded to Russia and becoming the autonomous Grand Duchy of Finland within the Russian Empire. Then we have Finnish Civil War, 1918. This was a conflict between the Reds, socialist revolutionaries, and the Whites, conservative factions. In the aftermath of the Russian Revolution, the Whites emerged victorious and Finland became an independent republic. Then, Winter War that started in 1939 and ended in 1940. We can say this war remained for a single year. The Winter War was fought between Finland and the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union sought to gain territorial concessions from the country Finland. Despite being significantly outnumbered, Finland put up a valiant defense and managed to retain its independence, although it had to cede some territories to Russia. Continuation War started from 1941 till 1944. Following the German invasion of the Soviet Union during the World War II, Finland joined forces with Nazi Germany against the Soviet Union. We can say Finland supported Hitler and its Nazi Germany. Finland sought to regain the territories it had lost in the Winter War. However, after a series of battles and changing alliances, Finland made a separate peace with the Soviet Union and had to cede additional territories. Let me tell you something very important here. Finland had realized that it was impossible for Finland to stay independent in the continent of Europe at the time when we are discussing this war. Then from that age till 2023, Finland has always supported and sided with the Russian Empire and Russian leaders. Lapland War 1944 till 1945. This conflict occurred between Finland and Germany towards the end of World War II. Finland, under pressure from the Soviet Union, launched an offensive against German forces occupying northern Finland. The German forces eventually retreated from Lapland and Finland managed to secure its independence. If we discuss the geography of Finland, we come to know that situated in northern Europe, Finland is known for its breathtaking natural landscapes. The country is characterized by thousands of lakes, dense forests, and vast stretches of unspoiled wilderness. Finland also experiences long, cold winters and short, vibrant summers. The unique geography provides ample opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, fishing, skiing, and exploring the picturesque Finnish Lapland. Let's discuss the borders of this country. Finland is bordered with Russia, Sweden, Norway, Norwegian, and Baltic Sea. Culture and Civilization Section Finnish culture and civilization are deeply rooted in the traditions and heritage of the Finnish people. The country takes pride in its rich folklore, music, and distinctive cultural events such as the Midsummer festivities and the celebration of the Kalavala, the national epic. Finnish design, known for its simplicity, functionality, and innovation, has gained worldwide recognition. The Senua, a traditional Finnish practice, holds great cultural significance and is considered a cornerstone of Finnish identity. Population uh, Finland has almost a population of appro approximately 5.5 million people only. You will be surprised to see the number of people living in the country, Finland. Uh, we discuss famous things, famous element of the country. One of the most prominent aspects that Finland is renowned for its education system. 
Finland consistently ranks amongst the top countries in international education assessments, such as the Program for International Student Assessment, PISA. Sanwa Culture Finnish people have a long-standing tradition of Sanwa bathing. We also say saunas. Saunas hold cultural and social significance and many Finns have saunas in their homes or cottages. Sauna is considered a place of relaxation, purification and social bonding. Finnish people are known for their love of saunas and have the health benefits associated with this kind of practice. If we discuss the famous personality of Finland, one of the most significant and famous personalities from Finland is undoubtedly Jean Sibelius, <clears throat> a renowned composer and one of the most influential figures in classical music. World Trade Organization member Finland has been member of World Trade Organization since January 1st, 1995. NATO member. Finland is not the member of North Atlantic Treaty Organization that is commonly known as NATO. However, she has applied for the membership of NATO after watching Russia attacking the Ukraine. UNO member. On December 14, 1955, Finland was accepted as a member of the United Nations Organization. So, this was the country that is commonly known in the Europe as Finland. We have discussed the country, its geography, its economy, imports and exports, and the worst country has fought, population, famous elements, and other things. I hope you will enjoy this video because it's full of knowledge. Do comment after watching this video in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel. You will watch many videos of the countries, their capitals, their geographies, their geopolitical facts and figures, etc. So stay tuned to my channel. Thank you.